Since the day Apple announced their new M1 powered MacBooks, I only had one question in mind. Can you actually game on the new MacBooks? After all, Apple made some serious claims in their events about 5 times better graphics, 3 times better CPU. So let's test all the claims in this video. Since I'm also into game development, I just wanted to check something very basic like running a Unity project on the new M1 MacBook. So here I'm testing a scene from an asset named Flooded Grounds which is available for free on the Unity Asset Store. And as you can see, I'm getting a decent frame rate considering this Unity is still running under Rosetta emulation as in it's not optimized for the new M1 MacBooks. So far, I don't see any lag or major frame drops. Let's just increase the brightness to get the most out of this beautiful display. And according to me, Unity is working just fine considering this is one of the heaviest assets available in the asset store. And I have packed this project with almost all the heavy assets like Sun Temple, etc. So now let's take a look at the real games available. I'm downloading the Fortnite right now. In the meantime, let's test the lightest game, which is Asphalt 9, and it's also available in the mobile. Let me tell you, this is one of the best features in the M1 that you can also run mobile and iPad games on your M1 MacBook. And as expected, the graphics are just perfect here. Obviously, it's like a very small game. So now let's test the same one on the Fortnite. For some reason, it just feels weird to play a game on the MacBook. But uh, to be honest, it's looking really good. I mean, the colors and this beautiful display. And I'm running this one on 60 FPS right now. Here we go. And please bear with me because I'm playing this Fortnite game for the second time and I'm a complete beginner or should I say a noob. So yeah, please bear with me. And as you can see, the MacBook is handling it pretty well, considering this is running on 1440 into 900, 60 frames per second. I will be maxing it out soon, but before, I just wanted to check how smooth the gameplay is. Okay, I'm hearing some kinds of sounds from here, and yep, this was an easy kill. So I'm going to shut up for a while and let you see the gameplay properly.
For now, let's just check the thermal performance of the MacBook. So I am using this TG9 program for thermal monitoring and it's very detailed as you can see it shows literally everything. It even allows you to control the fans if you want to but I don't recommend it. So I can see the fans running but honestly I can't hear a thing it's damn silent. Considering the previous MacBooks or I should say Intel MacBooks this thing is damn silent and cool. I mean, we all know the issues, they were everywhere, even with the 16-inch models. So the thermals are drastically improved in the M1 MacBooks. For your information, I am using M1 MacBook 16 GB variant. And this unified memory is really impressive. As in, you can see how many things are opened in once and it's still handling it flawlessly. So that's it from my side. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And for more such videos, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.